Germ-Free Research are meeting in South Bend, Indiana this week. One of the keynote speakers worked on the research that was used to treat the bubble boy in Houston. David died last February from complications following bone marrow transplants. He was 12 years old. David, whose body lacked disease-fighting antibodies, had lived all but the last few days of his life in a germ-free bubble, an isolator. The research leading up to the bubble was developed by Dr. Philip Trexler. For the last 18 years, Trexler has been working in England. His appearance at South Bend this week is a homecoming. His research started on the campus of Notre Dame shortly after the end of World War II. At that time, he was working to develop germ-free animals for research. Originally, we worked in uh, uh, steel autoclaves, which are, as you can understand, is rather difficult to work in. Uh, we tried to simplify the process by making a large tank, uh, sort of a store room, and entering the room in a uh, all-plastic diving suit. And in uh, working out the methods for sterilizing this diving suit, we found that we could make a, a, a flexible film isolator. Trexler's research also led to bone marrow transplants. A recent recipient, little Terence Allen in Texas, has successfully overcome his deficiency of antibodies. But Trexler says they have barely scratched the surface in germ-free research. We live in a uh, microbiological jungle. In other words, we actually know very little about the microorganisms in the gut and on the skin. Five years.